Hey, sixth grade, here's your help video for practice page 8.5.2. Just like the last practice page, I'm going to do every single problem. But you should pause along the way and see if you can do them on your own and then use my video to check your work. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to find the variable, put a box around it, and then make the wall going down. I'm going to use opposite or inverse PEMDAS to undo the the operations that are already there. So I can see there's a minus 8.3. In the last lesson, there weren't any decimals. In this lesson, it doesn't really matter that there are decimals. We're gonna let the calculator do the work. So instead of minusing to undo it, we add eight and three tenths to both sides. I know that these eight and three tenths will cancel out. And then on the other side, we have six and seven tenths plus eight and three tenths. Six and seven tenths plus eight and three tenths is 15. So there's 15 on this side, and on the other side we still have those three ends. Okay, put a box around my n. Now I'm going to divide by the coefficient because that's our next step in opposite PEMDAS. Right, then we divide and multiply. So to undo the division, remember there's a hidden times there, an implied times, we divide by the coefficient, divide by the number of n's, divide both sides by 3, and we see that we now have 3 divided by 3 is 1, 1 n, and on the other side, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So we want this n by itself, but thankfully, when we just write n by itself, it still means 1 n. So this says our answer should be 5. To double check, I'm going to rewrite my work, 3 n, Subtract 8 and 3 tenths. I'm going to subtract, or not subtract, I'm going to replace the n with 5 in parentheses. And then put that in the calculator, 3 times 5. And then minus 8 and 3 tenths gets us 6 and 7 tenths. Write that down. 6 and 7 tenths. Does that match the original answer? And it looks like it does up on the top, 6 and 7 tenths. Down on the bottom, 6 and 7 tenths, that means n does equal 5. That is the correct answer. Okay, for the next problem, I'm going to find my variable, y, and put a box around it. I want to get y all by itself, so I'll make the wall, and I'll do my inverse PEMDAS, and I need to subtract. So I'm going to subtract what's on the same side as the y. So there's this 3 and 2 tenths hanging out here. I'm going to take away 3 and 2 tenths, and I'm going to take away 3 and 2 tenths. At this point, see if you can finish. Use the calculator to subtract the decimals. Right, but see if you can finish this problem. Pause it until you try. Right, hopefully you tried to finish this problem. 3 and 2 tenths cancels out on the left side. That leaves us just with 6y. And on the right side, I know that 2 take away 2 is 0, and 21 take a 3 is 18, which means it's 18.0 or just 18. All right, my next step then for inverse is to undo the division and multiplication. So 6y means 6 times y. To undo it, we'll divide. Divide by 6, divide by 6. Now we have 6 divided by 6 is 1, 1y, one and on the, eight, on the other side, 18 divided by 6 is 3 which means we can clean it up by writing y has a value of 3. Going back to the original problem and rewriting, 3, plus, 3 and 2 tenths plus 6y. Replace the y with 3 in parentheses. All right, now this time I'm going to do PEMDAS and say 6 times 3 is 18. So in my calculator I'm going to write this problem. 3 and 2 tenths plus 18. 3 and 2 tenths plus 18. Oh, gets me to 21 and 2 tenths. Equals 21 and 2 tenths. That number looks familiar. And sure enough, yep, it matches. Going up to the top, it matches. Because it matches, I know that y does equal 3. Okay, at this point, pause. Try the entire next problem by yourself. You can do it, I believe in you. Do opposite PEMDAS. Okay, hopefully you tried the next problem. Here we go. I see that B is over here on the right side. I'm putting a box around it and making the wall. 
inverse operations to un undo the subtract two, we add two, add two on both sides. And I can put in a point zero if I want to. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to use a calculator anyway. Right. The twos on the right side cancel out. That leaves us with six and four tenths B. And on the left side, three and six tenths plus two and zero tenths is five and six tenths. Okay, my next step, there's no more subtraction and addition. So now I need to get rid of the multiplication, the 6.4 times B. Get rid of that. Remember there's that times right there by dividing by the coefficient. And I know it looks complicated because it's a decimal. Doesn't matter, you can let the calculator do the work. Whatever number is in front of the B, whatever number is glued to it, whatever number is the coefficient, that's what we divide by. Right, so we'll divide by 6 and 4 tenths in our calculator. 5 and 6 tenths divided by 6 and 4 tenths. All right, not a terrible decimal. That's 0 and 875 thousandths. The 6 and 4 tenths cancel out, which just leaves us that B. Or we could say 6 and 4 tenths divided by 6 and 4 tenths gives us 1. So that's 1B. And last, we would write that as 0 and 800. 75 thousandths equals B, but I'm not sure that's the answer yet. Going back to the original problem, 3 and 6 tenths equals 6 and 4 tenths B minus 2. Replace the B with 0 and 875 thousandths. And wow, I'm glad I have a calculator for this. 6 and 4 tenths times 0 and 875 thousandths. Oh, well, that's not terrible. Um, let's see, 5 and 6 tenths. Take away, move this to the other side. Take away 2 minus 2 equals, hey, that matches. 3 and 6 tenths. Great. That means our answer really is 0 and 875, 0 and 875 thousandths. Okay, pause the video, try the next one. All right, hopefully you tried the next one. If you got stuck, that's okay to keep watching. If you haven't tried it yet, it's not okay. Try it, and then you can come back to the video. Here is D on the right side. So I'll make my wall, and to get rid of the minus one and, sorry, the, the adding one and 35 hundredths, I need to take away, I need to do the inverse minus one and 35 hundredths. You'll notice here that I did line up the decimal points. If you are going to do this longhand and try to do it like, like they taught you in, um, like they taught you in fifth grade, that's fine, but you gotta line up the decimal points. Cross out my decimals on the right, leaves me with, it's over here now, I guess, eight and five tenths D, and on the other side, 14 and 1 tenths, subtract 1 and 35 hundredths, gets me to 12 and 75 hundredths. Cool, cool. Now I need to get rid of the multiplication that's hanging out here. Divide both sides by the coefficient, by the number in front of the variable because we know that it cancels out and just becomes 1, 1, D. And on the other side, I have no idea what that number is. 12 and 75 hundredths divided by 8 and 5 tenths. Oh, not so bad. 1 and 5 tenths, which means, I probably should put the heads and tails on that, that we could rewrite that as 1 and 5 tenths is the value of D. All right, double check our work. 14 and 1 tenth equals 8 and 5 tenths, letter D, plus 1 and 35 hundredths. And for the letter D, now we will replace it with 1 and 5 tenths. All right, and then let's try this out. 8 and 5 tenths times 1 and 5 tenths. Gives me this number, 12 and 75 hundredths. And we'll add 1 and 35 hundredths. 
gives us 14 and 1 tenth. See if that matches. Hey, yeah, it does. Look, 14 and 1 tenth. Cool, cool. We are almost done. You know what I'm going to say. Pause the video. Try the next problem. Just the same steps over and over. I hope you can see this. All right, next problem, box around my variable, make the wall going down. To undo the subtract 22 and 3 tenths, we will add 22 and 3 tenths to both sides, stacking my decimal points, cross them out on the right side, and then I can add decimals, but when I'm so focused on doing all the algebra correctly, um, I typically just put in the calculator, 33 and 28 hundredths. On the other side, that's just 5 and 2 tenths E. Right. And to undo the times E, we're going to divide by 5 and 2 tenths. Divide by 5 and 2 tenths. That will get us 2. Cross these out. It gets us just this E. We didn't lose it here. It's still hanging out right there. And on the other side, again, not a clue what that is. 33 and 28 hundredths divided by 5 and 2 tenths equals, oh, again, not so bad, 6 and 4 tenths. Got a kitten here who's attacking me. Let go of my sweater. Thank you. Equals 6 and 4 tenths. Sorry for that delay. So that means we could clean that up by writing 6 and 4 tenths is the value of E. And at this point, you know what I'm going to do next. Mrs. Toivola, somebody who has done this for the last 12 years as a teacher and did this for 8 or so years as a student herself, always goes back and checks to see if you replace the letter, in this case E, with the solution that we said it should be 6 and 4 tenths. Oh, I lost something there. Let's go back. There we go. Place the E with six and four tenths. That was a minus. Does it get us the same answer? Here we go. Five and two tenths times six and four tenths gets us 33 and 28 hundredths minus two and three tenths. Take away two and three gets us 30.98, hmm, something went wrong. What went wrong? Do you see what went wrong? I see what went wrong. I went too fast. It was take away 22 and 3 tenths. Oh my goodness, Mrs. Toivola. This is why I like to put things in a calculator. It's so easy to do things wrong, especially when you do lots of problems. Okay, so now I'll make that 22 and 3 tenths. And we have 33 and 28 hundredths minus 22 and 3 tenths. Gets us 10 and 98 hundredths. Yay! Now it matches. All right, one last problem. Can you do it all on your own? If you are substituting in the value for the variable, you will know without even having to watch the help video if your work is correct. All right, give it a pause, try it out. All right, here we go. Did you do it? Box around the F. Make a line down the equals. We're going to undo the subtract 16 and 14 hundredths by adding 16 and 14 hundredths. It'll cancel out on the right side. On the left side, 16 and 14 hundredths plus 31 and 8 tenths gets us. 47 and 94 hundredths. And on the right side, we still have 10 and 2 tenths F. So now we divide by the coefficient. Divide by the coefficient on the other side. Divide by 10 and 2. Gets us to 4 and 7 tenths. Here we go. 4 and 7 tenths on the right side. On the left side, 10.2. 10 and 2 tenths divided by 10 and 2 tenths is 1. So there's our 1F, 
which of course we can rewrite as just f has a value of 4 and 7 tenths. Cool, cool. I'm so close to done. 10 and 2 tenths f subtract 16 and 14 hundredths equals replace the f with 4 and 7 tenths. Put in the calculator, 10 and 2 tenths times 4 and 7 tenths, 47 and 94 hundredths, subtract 16 and 14 hundredths, gets us 2, 31 and 8 tenths, please be what was back up at the top, please, yay, I had actually forgotten, there we go, get rid of that, our answer that we got in the calculator, 31 and 8 tenths, it matches. It's hard to see, right? But you can see there's the original problem, 31 and 8 tenths, and our check, 31 and 8 tenths. All this to say the answer is hiding right here, F equals 4 and 7 tenths. Mrs. Toivola, this is kind of complicated. It's steppy, and there's a lot of stuff to write down. It's really not all that complicated, and you can let the calculator do most of the work. Um, but this is why I only gave you six problems and not 12 like the last time we did these. Don't forget to turn in your worksheet when you're done.